Hello YouTube land, the Andana Grant here, once again in my kitchen. And I'm going live just to catch up with everybody after Thanksgiving. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, those of you who are in the U.S. And anywhere else, I hope you had a wonderful Thursday and weekend. Um, I'm going to catch you up today on what we did with our Thanksgiving. Uh, I have a package to open. And I want to catch you up on the poncho I'm making, where I am with that. And some plans for the future, including some regular giveaways I'm going to do. Because, ta-da, I've reached 5,000 subscribers and I'm tickled. So thank you all for that. Now, let's, all, let's see who all's here. And I hope you can hear me. Let me do a little here. Okay. Hello, Kilted Gardener, Butterfly Enterprises, Roy Parman, hello, and Stickers, hello, glad to have you all here, thank you for joining me, volume is a bit low, I'm going to have to speak up because I can't do a thing about it, it's all the way up as far as I can make it. <clears throat> And I'll try to stay on this side of the camera because the mic's over on this side. I have an iPad, a seven and a half inch iPad, and I have it mounted on a tripod. So do what you can on your end to turn yours up. That's right. <laughs> do what you can on your end to turn it up. There's probably three different places you can increase your volume on whatever you're watching. Well, at least on a, on a computer. I don't know about on a phone. But uh, yeah, do what you can there because I'm doing all I can here. The only thing I can do more is to put my external microphone on and I don't know where I put it. When I find it, I'll be using it. So sorry about that. Do the best you can. And uh, when I post this, I'll try and when this goes up as a video, I'll try to make sure it is. Uh... <laughs> Roy says, I'm a survivor. I can tough it out with the volume knob. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Susie Boss. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So, did you have a great Thanksgiving? We did. We have seven children, all grown, and eight grandkids, six homegrown, and two gifted by marriage. And we had four of the grandkids here, and all of the kids except my oldest son and his three kids who live out in Massachusetts, and one of my daughters didn't make it till the evening because she had the work, but she did come in the evening. And so we spent time with her and she came the night before to help me make pies. So we did spend time together. And our new grandbaby was here both the night before. If you watched my Thanksgiving Eve live stream, you saw little Jeffrey because Heidi came in and uh, surprised us coming here. And she brought him right up to the camera and showed everybody little Jeffrey. So if you want to see my new grandchild, uh, on the live stream. That would have been third, uh, Wednesday night's live stream. Roy, Canada here. So our Thanksgiving was way back. Yeah, yours is in October, I think. But we don't pass up an excuse to eat well, so it was nice. Yay, good for you. Do you eat similar foods to us? Probably, it's more of a harvest time Thanksgiving, isn't it, Roy? So I'm guessing, you know, you eat harvest time foods and fall foods, so it'd probably be similar to what we eat as represent, representative of the pilgrims, like the turkey and pumpkins and things like that. Of course, we have an argument every year. Sorry, I'm bumping the table and that makes the camera shake. We have an argument in our home every year because, and I've mentioned this several times before, but oh well, I'm going to say it again, that my family loves pineapple dressing. Not, in the, not the turkey dressing, that's different, that's sage dressing, we do that. But uh, <laughs> they want me to make pineapple dressing. It's like a bread pudding every holiday. And I kicked and bucked and told them no, not for Thanksgiving because the pilgrims didn't have pineapple. But I lose every time because if I don't make it, my husband makes it or my daughter makes it. And this year my husband made it. So they love that pineapple dressing. I've got a video on that if you want to see how to make that. 63 degrees in Virginia here today. Yeah, it's in the 60s here too. It is so nice and warm. I'm probably going to be losing this uh, duster I'm wearing right now. It goes all the way to the floor, so I'm getting a little warm. So I'll probably be taking that off before I'm done. That's what I wore to church today. 
So, let's see. Anybody else here before I start? Roy? Deborah, my hubby was in the hospital, so our Thanksgiving will be next week. Well, I hope he's okay, Deborah. I'm sorry I missed that comment first. And Roy says, yes, he had a lot of pumpkin and squash. Did you make pumpkin pie there, Roy? Retired and prepping. Hello from Middle Tennessee. Hello, hello. All right. Nice to have you all here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is open my newest package from Nadine West. They sent me a really big fat one this time. I've had it about a week, and I am not open. I have not opened it because I wanted to do it on the live stream. And I've been so curious what they sent because sometimes it's pretty small. This one is packed. And if you don't know what Nadine West is, it's a clothing company that it's a subscription clothing company. And they contacted me and said they would send me free clothes if I would open them and just review them on my live stream and or a video either one and sometimes I try them on but when I do a live stream of course I'm not going to do that and sometimes I'll show them on the live stream and then try them on in another video and I let you know what I like what I don't like whatever and they must be happy with what I'm doing because they keep sending the packages and most times they do a great job they have a uh, I don't know what they call a stylist who goes over a, a form you fill out that tells your sizes and your measurements and your likes and your dislikes and your colors and what you need and what you don't need and blah, blah, blah. And then they go through inventory and they pick out something just for you and send it. And I'll tell you more as I open the package, but I'm going to open this one. I'm excited because it's so big and it's kind of heavy. I don't know what they could have put in here. So even when the light ones sometimes have like four pieces of clothing and jewelry. So I'm wondering what's in this big one. All right, I'm going to show you what's left of our of our Thanksgiving pies. If I can get past here. All righty. Here's what's left of our Thanksgiving pies. That much pumpkin. We had four pumpkin pies. I sent some home with family. That's what we got left here. And this is what's left of the two apples I made. So there's my apple pie. My, my daughter Jody Lynn did my pie recipe crust, my pie crust recipe, and she made it real cute with the hearts and an apple in the middle. So that was fun. We have fruit flies here. I suppose that's a confession. I don't know if any of you are suffering with fruit fries, but my son came from Virginia and he said they're having trouble with them too. So I'm trying to keep everything covered and washed down so nothing is making them stay. And I've got those little apple cider vinegar jars around with plastic wrap over them with little tiny fork tiny holes in them so they go into the apple cider, cider vinegar and they can't get out. So I've caught some, but boy are they a pain. And it's embarrassing on Thanksgiving to have people <laughs> swatting fruit flies. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's in this? 62 degrees in Tennessee. Not looking forward to cold weather. Yeah, you got them there too. We get them bad here also. Got to keep everything covered. Yep. Yeah, it's tough. It's hard. So my family was good to me. A lot of them brought me flowers. Let's see if I can show you what they brought. Uh, over there. Okay, that this bouquet. Um, a friend of the family brought. Thank you, Flip, if you're watching. Our friend Flip brought this. Uh, Flip and his wife used to come to Thanksgiving every year, and they were always so gracious and appreciative. And Flip became a widower, and then he remarried. And I invited him and he and his new wife as well. And she has family that they can visit, so they usually go there. But he is so sweet. Every Thanksgiving, in the morning, he shows up with flowers for me just to thank me for the times we invited him and his first wife, who died. So... Yeah, Flip and Amanda, we loved you, and Flip and Jody, we love you. So, thank you, Flip, for the flowers and the apple cider. He also brought some apple cider, which was delicious. 
So that was from a friend of the family. And out here, my daughter-in-law, Julie, made up this, this bouquet for me. My son Jeremy's wife, Julie, made this up. And they had it in a pumpkin, but our fruit flies like the pumpkin too much, so I had to put that outside, and I'm keeping the flowers in a vase. So she made that one up herself. And she also brought these pinkish poinsettias for every family member that came. So I have, my daughter Mandy is with us, so I have Mandy's and mine up here on the dining room table. Oh yeah, and you know, my husband and my daughter love to do puzzles. This is the one they finished after Thanksgiving. That's a bits and pieces puzzle. Another thousand pieces, bringing home supper is what it's called. So that's a cute one. So we'll be taking that down and finding another one. I'm kind of thinking as giveaways, maybe, how would you feel if somebody gave you a secondhand puzzle if there was nothing wrong with it? Because we're getting all these puzzles, and I, I know there's some sites where I can trade them, and I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't mind getting secondhand puzzles if the pieces is all, are all there and they're in good shape. So I thought, maybe I should do it as part of my giveaway, say you can have one of our puzzles too as a little extra giveaway gift. So. What would you think about that? Do you think that would be kosher or do you think that would be too weird because it's second hand? Okay, fruit fries are like clouds over the food, yet I never see them anywhere near my compost bin. <laughs> yeah, those fruit fries are a pain in the patootie. Let's see, he's home recovering from surgery. Grumpy old bear. <laughs> well, I hope he does find recovery. Thank you. Yes, speedy recovery. And Suburban, again, is not getting her notifications. I wish there was something I could do to make it happen. Suburban, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I just think it's YouTube. I wish. Uh, maybe maybe if you unsubscribe and subscribe again and re-notify. and re uh, notify. Okay, it's nothing wrong with the second hand puzzle. Go for it. Yeah, we've got so many now. and I was going to give them away to like nursing homes or something, but it would also be fun with my channel if I could just, you know, say, okay, you win a puzzle and I send it off to somebody. Okay, sending good thoughts and vibes to you and your husband. Ever. Yes. Yep, simple puzzles help brain a lot after your husband's free up. Okay. Alrighty, now I'm also going to catch you up on where I am with my newest craft project, which is my poncho of many colors. If you're following me on my Facebook page, and for those of you who don't know, my Facebook page is not, Su is not Van Dana Grandma. It's Susie Van Dana, three words, S-U-S-I-E, B-A-N, D-A-N-A, -N -A, Susie Van Dana. That's my Facebook page, so if you go there and subscribe, and uh, subscribe to my Facebook page or friend me on my Facebook page you'll be getting a lot more you know photos and information that you don't see on uh, YouTube okay and Roy says the son loves puzzles I've always loved the challenge of them at his age too I'm gonna make sure you miss anybody if I did I'm sorry say hello again if I missed you all right, so the poncho. You see it out there on the wall? All right, there's my newest poncho I'm working on. I got all the squares done. I got it sewn together. And it starts with a circle of this coral color and goes into a circle of this yellow gold with greens and browns in it. And then it goes into this of a, this is a very nice hand spun, hand dyed model. There's some orange in it. It almost looks a, like a rusted green in there. And then another, then it, then it turns into squares. See, I turned the circles into squares. And we got another orange, another yellow, and then a different green. And I've tried to decide if I want to make this the, the right side where the seams are kind of bumped up. 
I don't know if you can see that, but that's the seam side, so it's kind of bumped up. Or I could make this the seam side where it's flat and it's not bumped up. It's just joined right there. See, if I put my tag in it, I have to make a choice because the tag is going to have to be on the inside. If I don't tag it, then somebody could just decide what they want to do with it. Okay, so I did that. I put the four together and then I, I made a border. Oh, let me put the camera up a little. Then I widened the border around here and cinched it in a little. And I may do a few more rows of that. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put a row of yellow or, or a coral around here and then another row of green. So there's a hint of the orange or yellow up here too. Tell me what you think in the comments when this goes up as a video. Not now in the chat, but when this is a video. So next thing I need to do is fill in the back. See the V goes in the front and the V goes in the back. Well, I want to fill in this back up to here because I want to put a hood on it. And I'm probably going to make a green hood like and put that on the back. And then down here, I'm going to widen the hem, the green on the hem, make that another couple of inches down here. And then tie on multicolored fringe all the way around the bottom hem. So I'm still working on it, but it's definitely making progress. And that's my poncho of many colors. Okay. Now we'll get back to my Nadine West package. Return and prepping. I love your accents in your kitchen, Bandana Grandma. Thank you. I'll talk about that in a second. Very pretty. Love that color palette. Thank you. Very earthy. Yeah, I tried to make it from everything I had in my stash already, so I didn't have to buy anything. And it turns out, normally I wouldn't choose those colors, but as I was forced to use what I had, I became a little inventive, and I thought, you know, this looks pretty good. So I was ended up being happy with it. Uh, Joe's pretty, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking it wants fringe at the bottom. It's going to get it, a wider border and fringe. Love those earth tones. Good. All right, now for my kitchen. My kitchen was remodeled about four years ago. It used to be smaller and dark. When we first moved in, the cabinets were small and dark. The countertops were this laminated stuff that was really falling apart, peeling. And the floor was this cheapo white stick-on tile. And we, I painted the cabinets another color for a while. We raised seven kids here, and we didn't have a lot of money. So it was a long time before I could do what I wanted. And then four years ago, we decided, okay, it's time. And we had saved up money, and we decided to renovate the kitchen. So what happened was, over here, where this, over here where this uh, wall is, right here, this used to be open. This used to be a solid wall all the way down with a door down in that end. And it was a hallway closet that ended up down there where the filter is. There was a, do there was a, a door down there that went to a closet. So we knocked that wall out, knocked the closet out. And now I have my pantry and my coat closet here. So that's what we did with that. And... That extended the room about two and a half feet, which really made a difference. So I enjoyed that. And also, the cabinets, they only came up about 30 inches or so. So we knocked out the bulkhead or, or whatever they call that thing that enclosed the top that was wasted space. And we got the long cabinets and extended them up. So I have more room to store seasonal things up high. And that gave me a lot more storage. And I enjoyed that. And of course I put in new floors and everything and I built all the color color combination around this kitchen set because I found I love the retro 1940s and this table and chairs and that hutch were in a secondhand and not secondhand but you know an antique uh, consignment shop. And I got it for a steal. The chairs were in bad condition. Up here, they were worn right down to the wood. And it was all this color. 
this whole back here was this color. And so to save the pattern, I had the centers cut out and applique onto the red. And I, I reupholstered the seats and had somebody else do this for me. And then I chose all the colors, the wall colors, the floor colors, the cabinet colors, everything to go around this kitchen set. I designed the whole kitchen around this kitchen set. And I got the sink that's a farm sink or an apron sink. You can call it either one right there. And I had wanted one of those for a long time and they were so expensive. I'd seen them for $800 to $1,200. And I went to Ikea and I found that one for $300. And I said, sold. And Ikea was very helpful uh, with a lot of things I needed to do. And also what was helpful was where I got my cabinets from. I bought them online. I knew I wanted hardwood. I didn't want cheap particle board. I had had that and it was bad. And it was time for me to upgrade get something I like. So I went to Chick Studios. Let me see it's how they spell it. It's a Q. I'll think of it. Hey, JL Gould. That's one of mine. <laughs> uh, oh, what, how do they spell that? I'll get back to you. But it was an online shop and it was a little scary because you don't have a store to go in and look at the cabinets. But they will send you a cutout like this of the corner and how, how it radiates here. They'll send you a, a piece about that big so you can examine the whole thing. And it, I could see it was made well. So we ordered them and we had neighborhood contractor install them. And when they came in, he was thinking, oh, she got some cheap stuff. It's going to be bad to put it in. All these cabinets above this, the fridge. All the ones here, all the way around, there's a lot of cabinets here. All the bottom cabinets, including the Lazy Susan over there. Bottom cabinets all here. And a pull-out trash drawer. I got a pantry top and bottom here with drawers. And I got drawers, let's see, right there. Uh, over there, that one has drawers for my pots and pans. So... All those were $5,500. And if you're looking for quality cabinets that are hardwood and well-made, that's a good price for all those. You can get cheaper, but not for this quality. So I was so happy to find them. And we did it. We did a bullet and my contractor put them in. And when they arrived, he said to me, where did you get these cabinets? I can't believe you only paid $5,500 for all these cabinets. They are beautiful. So it was a good deal. Thank you, Julie. I'm very happy with them. Thank you, Suburban. Yes, please like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. So I think that was all I had to say about that. And I'm going to open up the package from Nadine West. Because I am excited to see what's in it. Because it's a big fat one. Let me see if I can put you on the floor. Instead of the table. And that way you might be able to... I can extend the legs and you'll be able to see the full view of what I'm opening. Sorry, take your dream, I mean. All right, there, you should be able to see when I'm opening like that. So here we go with the Nadine West package. And I shouldn't cut my head off. Put it up a little bit. I can't see your comments from here, so I'll um, look at them after I open the package. This is so much fun, getting these packages in the mail. Let's 
afraid that I don't want to cut anything that's inside, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh, it is really stuck tight. There's my return label. Even if you're purchasing stuff, if you don't like anything in here, you just put it back in, postage paid label, you send it back, no problem. If you like what's in here, piece by piece, you can go over it piece by piece. Oh my goodness, what is this? There should be a list of what's included. It's probably hidden in here somewhere. And it'll tell you the prices for each thing. All right, I have three bundles, one, two, three, and at least one jewelry. So let's start with this. This is a hooded shirt. Okay, and it's my size. It's got stripes on the sleeves. Nice for the winter when your house is cool. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. They do it different now. They got an itty bitty one on the back of the label. They used to have a full sheet. All right. This is Varsity Hoodie Gray. It would be $19.99 if I was paying for it. And it's brand. And it's in my size. A pair of black sweatpants they sent me before just to keep warm around here. Looks like a piece. Oh, you know what? What's this? Oh, okay. This is a charcoal. Oh, nice. A charcoal jacket thing. You know what? I could try that on right now. And it is top Lucille charcoal. $24.49. It's got a fold over collar. It's got long sleeves with cuffs. It hangs open. It's long. Oh, it's, it's one of these that's cut on a curve. So it's long enough to cover your booty and folds over in the front here. I could wear that with a lot of things. I could wear it with dresses or pants or skirts and the charcoal color. Yeah, I like that. So there's the second piece they sent me. All right, now I have this bundle. What is this? Well, it's a skirt. It's a pencil skirt in gray and black. That's pretty. It would go nicely with this charcoal jacket, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't usually wear slim skirts, but I'd try it. I like I like the gray and black roses. So yeah, that's nice. And what else have I got here? This is Zanana. It's, oh, the skirt. I gotta tell you how much the skirt is. Bottom. Where's the bottom? It says navy. Is that me? Okay, it might be navy and gray, but it's really dark. Okay, so. Says bottom Suzanne Suzanne Navy is $24.99. Right now I got I think it's another top. Oh, this is nice. It has pleats all down the front. And I could wear this with that skirt too, because it would just be a pop of color with the black and gray or navy and gray. 
got pleats all down the front. It's a nice, substantial, stretchy material. Long sleeves. All right, we'll see. I'm not sure how I look with the boxy pleats. If it's going to add to my girth or not. But uh, it's the right size and it's well made. So that one is top Taraji, Taraji, T A R A J I is what it says, in a wine color. And that's $18 for that. Now it says I have a bracelet and a necklace. Maybe they're both in here because I only see one. No, I'll have to look for another piece. Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. Here's a pretty necklace. The uh, rings are gold and they're, they got diamond cuts in them. See, so they sparkle. Okay, and that one, necklace, diamond links, gold. That's $24.99 for that necklace. And then this bracelet. I have trouble with bracelets fitting if they're not stretchy. I hope it does fit because it matches the bracelet. It looks like it will just fit. I don't think I can hook it myself, but I think I, it'll fit. But it's the same uh, type of metal in the same cuts with ovals and circle rings bracelet. And that's called Josephina and that's $13.49. So they sent a lot this week, this uh, month. In fact, it might have been closer to uh, you know, three weeks rather than a month. I'm not sure. Although I've had this a week. I've been waiting to open it. So two, three tops, uh, the hoodie, the hoodie sweatshirt type thing, the charcoal jacket, and the wine colored pleated shirt, and the uh, skirt, and a necklace and a bracelet. So that's what I got this time from Nadine West. And like I said, uh, when you get your package, you can send back anything you don't want with that uh, postage free shipping. Keep something you just pay the price on. <laughs> I think Jen likes my gray hoodie. Ugh. Sorry. Get back to where I was. Okay, there's a combination here. You have a lovely home. Oh, I'm losing connection here. I'll wait. It says it's reconnecting. It says it's reconnecting. Reconnecting, reconnecting, reconnecting. Oh no, it's buffering. says it's re ah I'm back let's hope I stay back sometimes my internet gives me fits so I hope you saw most of that alrighty okay I'm tired of prepping and see Rick Cruz likes my poncho You have a lovely home, bright kitchen, functional, lots of counter space. Yeah, I this was really small in the kitchen when we had all seven kids here, but 
Now I have the kitchen I wanted. Hello, Julie. Okay, Kilted Gartner had to go. Thank you, Sea Rickers. Oh, hello, Thinking of Others, AKA DM. Nice to have you here, Dave. Jenny says, that's cute. I think she wants my sweatshirt. Hi, Susie. Just got home from, oops. I'm having trouble keeping my chat where I can get see it. Just got home from Caitlin's birthday party, I think. Birthday party? No. Let's see. I don't think she had a birthday. She had a birthday party before. Yep, birthday party. Okay, I'm in Ohio, Bandana's new friend on Facebook. I've been watching her Tara and Patty forever, didn't say. Yes, glad to hear you, have you on here chatting it up there, Sea Rickers. How's the grandson, Susie? He's doing really well. I haven't heard from Heidi. We, they were here Thanksgiving. I haven't heard from them since, and her husband's been off, so I haven't really, you know, imposed. I figure if she'd need me, she'd let me know. But I may call them tonight to find out. But I know he's gaining weight and doing well. Heidi needs more rest. She's having trouble relaxing and sleeping. She's she's so intent on paying attention to the baby and every noise he makes gets her worried. So C. Rickers likes the skirt. Okay, pretty pretty. That's nice too. I guess they like some of the clothes. And Tim and Alicia like, or Alicia probably likes shiny. And Jen says, I'm going to be missing the hoodie after she comes to visit. Yeah, I could sew a panel in there if I wanted to make the skirt wider and not a pencil skirt. Alrighty. And let's see, Rickers is making pizza. Hello, Long Island, Virginia Gibson. You're not buffering on my end. Wow. It looked like it was buffering bad here. It says now I'm still live, though. You look younger and younger. <laughs> I must have got the light right again, Mer uh, Anne Marie. <laughs> Hello, my friend Anne Marie from Norway. Anne Marie, I have to tell you, when I found out that I was. Um, Oh, I can't remember the word for all those countries over there that I had that in my ancestry. They broke it down further and they said it was mostly Norway. <laughs> so how about that? Maybe we're related. Beth Grant DeRuz, she says you look great in purple. Thank you, honey. <laughs> yeah, the light must be good today. They say I'm looking younger. I ain't younger. <laughs> Please hit that like button. Oh, thinking of others. Okay, I had to reload the page, but then it was fine. Okay, Jen. Well, thank you all for coming. I'm going to start working on my soup. Um, if you want to watch, I'll leave it on a little bit. But it's just going to be me putting out the, uh, getting soup out of the fridge, draining off the fat, getting the stuff ready. I had already picked through my turkey and put it in broth and uh, did all that and put it in the fridge and now I got it because hopefully the fat all went to the top and I can take that off before I go ahead and make soup. Uh, you'll be more or less uh, watching. Love you too, Alicia. So, I'm parched. My northern iced tea. <laughs> so I'm going to get busy and do that. If you want to watch, go ahead and watch. I'll just leave it running. And uh, I probably won't be coming to you for a while. If that's going to be boring to you, it's okay. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by. God bless you all.
Deep breath. Turkey pickings. the fat off the turkey broth. One good thing about turkey broth is all, and bone broth, which is what this is, is all that goodness from the bones is good for your nails and your hair and your own bones. The gelatin, the more gelatin, the better.
Staying in. Well, I'm going to add more water. tissue my eyes Got that on. Actually, I'm going to make it less time because it already cooked once. I'm just going to put it on 12 minutes. Yeah. Whew. Let's see if there's any more. My eye makeup's running because I've been crying from the onions. I'm not, probably not smart to wipe my hands with, but I'll wash them first. <laughs> Okay, Virginia made her soup Thanksgiving night. <laughs> if it's not sweet, it's not iced tea. <laughs> no, it's not sweet, it's not sweet tea. <laughs> Love you, Moogie. Thank you, Jen. Your fridge is well stocked. Yeah, it is. After Thanksgiving especially, we had... A lot of leftovers, but we've been working on them, and the kids took a lot home with them, too. I had a 23-pound turkey. Okay. Collagen. I missed something. Am I dense? Did I miss something, or am I just not making the connection? Collagen. Oh, what I was saying was good in that. Yeah, what I was saying was good in the turkey bones. Yep. Okay, Dolphin Man says, think of helping a school child by paying for their lunch for a week. Dolphin Man says, I'm cooking with love. 
Always. I sew with love. I cook with love. I crochet with love. Yes. Oh, Dolphin Man, I would so love that to get Christmas cards, you know. And should I be bold and tell you that my snail mail address is down below? And it's uh, Bandana Grandma. And, and you can look at it below, but it's uh, sweet number six two. Now I can't remember, 622 or 623. It's down below. 1332 Cape St. Clair Road, Annapolis, Maryland, 21409. That's my snail mail address. And if you wanted to send me Christmas cards, I would be so tickled to get Christmas cards from my subscribers. That is so fun to think of getting that. Okay. And Susie Bosch is using her Instant Pot to make yogurt. Yeah, I make mine in my crock pot. That's a long cook. The 12 minutes, yeah, I maybe for the veggies, probably so. And I didn't, well, I'm going to stir the turkey in afterward because it's already cooked. Yes. Okay, you might be right, Suburban. I really just need to heat it up, heat it up, because everything, <laughs> I'll change it. It didn't start yet. Oh, but it's building pressure. Let's see. I'll stop it and I'll hit, um, let's see. Not rice, meat and chicken. I'll just do a cook time. Let's see. If I do, no, that's too much. I don't know if I got a short one there. Five minutes. How's five minutes sound? Let's try that. We'll try five minutes. Because really it just has to cook the veggies. And in a pressure cooker that should do it. Right? Thank you, Suburban. You're probably right about that. Okay. You're making me hungry. I had so much eat Thanksgiving. I still have a lot left over. I cook for days. Isn't that the truth? It takes forever to make the meal, and then, depending on the family, it's gone in 10 to 20 minutes, and oh, <laughs> it's like, where'd it go? <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay. That's good. So five minutes for that to cook, and then I can stir in the turkey. I'm also going to stir in some frozen uh, peas and, and corn. I don't think I really need to cook them. I think as soon as it's hot, I can just stir them in and they'll warm up quick enough. If they need more, I can put it on another couple of minutes. But that makes a quick soup. I may add more things to it. I will taste it and then I will check up and see if it needs uh, more poultry seasoning or salt or pepper. Sometimes I add tomatoes and I make more of a tomato-based turkey soup. My husband likes tomatoes in his soups and stews and uh, dressings. So the dogs are helping with the turkey leftovers, says uh, Rebecca. You have some spoiled dogs, Rebecca. My daughter is living with us temporarily and she has two cats with her and they come upstairs from her apartment downstairs and they get turkey and chicken too. <laughs> so trying to think if there's anything else I have to share with you before I bid you adieu. Oh, Susie Bosch, that's great. She's making waterproof bed rolls for those less fortunate in her area. That is so kind. What a wonderful thing to do, Susie. Very good. I commend you for that, definitely. See, Ricker says she's not looking forward to all the snow in Ohio, but it's coming soon, right? I'm hoping my mitten sales pick up once the snow starts coming. Uh, last, they prob it probably will. Last year I sold out. I sold out at the conference, so I think they'll start selling once I... Oh, never mind. I don't want to mention that on Sunday. Yeah, spoiled pets. <laughs> there you go. 
My daughter Jen is right there with you. She spoils her pets too. Yeah, we used to have some pets. Um, our last one was a Great Dane, Lexi. Lady Alexandria of Clare, Lexi. And she was the best dog and we loved her dearly. And it just hurt so much when we had, when we lost her. And now that we're traveling, we decided we, we're not gonna do any more pets for a while. Maybe, maybe not at all. Because we've got, it's hard enough to keep the garden when I'm traveling. Okay, check out Susie Bosch's channel. Can do that. Yeah. All right, well, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I think I told you everything I need to tell you. We opened up the package that I had. Uh, I may make a video trying on all those clothes and clothes from previous packages. I say that every time I get one. It, it, with Thanksgiving and the new baby and all, I just haven't had time to do that. I'm trying to make a, a legit video, not a live stream, but a legit video on, on a, uh, like a vlog where it's from morning to night, a day in the life type thing. And I'm trying to do a good job on it with a little more editing and maybe a return of my kitchen fairies if uh, you're interested in seeing them again. They, and they came by last Christmas and helped decorate. So maybe they'll do that again this year. I don't know. <laughs> so you can watch for that. Or you can go back and look at my other videos where my kitchen fairies came to visit and see what they do. Thank you for the live stream. You're welcome. And thank you all for coming. Check all the links below, especially my uh, snail mail, because I'd love to get Christmas cards from you. That would just make my month. <laughs> I'd really love that. And there's all kinds of links to my, uh, my Etsy page and my Facebook page and all that. Yes, have a wonderful, blessed week, and thanks for coming by. So long.